Hi, it's Steve Shalaby, your mortgage broker and realtor for life. Today is Monday, October 28th, 2019, and it's my favorite day of the week, Mortgage Monday. Um, so this is Halloween week. This is why we have our uh, Ghouls Mix uh, Mortgage Monday candy here. And um, since uh, Halloween is uh, fast approaching, we thought we'd talk about a couple of scary topics today in the mortgage world. The scariest topics I can think of are derogatory public records. So those being uh, bankruptcies, foreclosures, and short sales. Uh, the most uh, derogatory and most feared uh, uh, items on your credit report and how they relate to your mortgage. So let's talk about each one of these derogatory items and how long the seasoning requirement is to allow you to refinance your mortgage or, or buy a house after having one of these events. So basically we need to talk about two categories of the most popular types of mortgages, conventional loans and FHA loans. We'll go down the list with each, with each type of derogatory item and talk about what the seasoning requirement is for a conventional and an FHA loan. Let's jump into it. First and foremost, a foreclosure. In order to do a mortgage after having a foreclosure, uh, you need to have at least seven years of seasoning if you want to do a conventional loan. Now, if you don't need to have a conventional loan uh, and uh, you're willing to go with an FHA loan, which is a wonderful option, all you need to do is have three years of seasoning. So for foreclosures, it's seven years for a conventional loan, FHA, three years of seasoning, and then you could buy or refinance a house. Uh, next, uh, bankruptcy. Essentially, there's three types of the most popular and most common types of bankruptcy. Chapter 7, Chapter 11, and Chapter 13. So Chapter 7 bankruptcy, to have a conventional mortgage after your bankruptcy, you're going to need to have four years uh, of seasoning. Uh, for an FHA loan, you only need to have two years. Uh, that Chapter 7 bankruptcy, of course, is the type of bankruptcy that discharges all of your unsecured debt. Uh, the next type of bankruptcy is Chapter 13. Chapter 13 is also known as a reorganization of debt, uh, and uh, that usually puts you on a five-year plan. Well, for a conventional mortgage, uh, you only need to have two years after the uh, discharge date, uh, and for an FHA mortgage, you could do it the day after. So there's no seasoning requirement at all for an FHA mortgage if you did a Chapter 13 bankruptcy. The third most common type of bankruptcy is the Chapter 11, which is a business type of bankruptcy. Uh, for conventional loans, it's the same, four years. FHA, it's uh, two years for Chapter 11. Uh, the last type of uh, derogatory public record uh, is a short sale. It's a very common type of record we see on people's credit reports these days. Um, to do a conventional mortgage after a short sale, you need to have four years of seasoning. To do it after, uh, to do an FHA loan, you only need to have three years of seasoning. And there's actually conditions where you could do it in a shorter period of time. If you have a, a, a documentable financial hardship, you can do a mortgage after a short sale in even less time, as long as you have very, very good documentation. So this has been our Halloween episode of the Mortgage Monday show, when we talked about some scary things here. Uh, give us a call if you have any questions. Uh, I answer my phone till 10 p.m. every night. My name is Steve Shalaby, here, uh, your mortgage broker and realtor for life, and uh, we welcome your phone calls and emails. Have a great day.